so as in this part of uh, e-commerce dashboard we will learn how we can add style with the header component because we already created the header file and we will add a footer component also after that we will add some style with the footer component and at the last we will update a little bit project structure also so that uh, we can just get to know how we can update the project structure and uh, how we can create a separate folder for components because in upcoming time we need around uh, 10 to 15 files for component right so they should be in the separate folder for a better structure so we will do that in this video so and guys you don't need to just copy the code from video you can just uh, watch this video completely after that you can get the code from uh, uh, my github account link is given in the description box so now let's start with the first point and add some style to the header so i am just going to add some style with the ul so let me just simply put here padding uh, just five pixel we need it margin zero pixel don't need it background color it can be uh, sky blue right and uh, after that what we can do here we can simply uh, that's it i guess that's all for this and uh, for the uh, anchor tag we can just change the text and style for this uh, link so let me add here color it will be let's say hash triple f then text decoration can be none oh, it's not text align it should be text decoration it can be none then uh, we can add a padding let's say 5 pixel right so that's all and let's copy it again from here to and let's paste inside the app.css right so let me just simply add here dot navbar ally and a uh, okay so i will just add it within a moment but first of all i need to paste it and now replace this element dot style to the dot navbar ally and a don't need to just press uh, control s otherwise uh, it will refresh your browser and your code will be lost from uh, uh, you can see that uh, ul right so now let's copy it and we can just simply okay so let me just uh, fix this pixel also and now what we can do here we can just add some style with the navbar so let me just paste it I don't know why this is just coming in the next line it should not be like this now this is looking better and let's replace element dot style with the dot uh, nav ul right why this comma is here right now let's try to save it and now you will find that header is pretty fine and this is working completely so now let's create a uh, one more component with the uh, let's say footer dot js name so let's simply add here import react from react and uh, let's take a const mm, let's say const name is footer because it will be a component constant and as you know we are using an arrow function because we are making our project inside the functional component so now let's uh, return here return and let me add here a div and inside div let's add here h3 tag and we can just simply put here ecom dashboard or something now we can import this so let me just import here export default and export default footer and we can import it inside the app.js so let's import footer from footer file and we can simply paste it outside the footer if we don't have any routing things and all it inside it right so let's apply it like this 
and now you will find that the text of footer is actually coming not coming inside the bottom it, it this is coming just behind the component so how we can just put it in the uh, footer so for that let's add some style so let me just put here position absolute bottom zero background color sky blue with 100% uh, 100% no pixel text align center now this actually look like a footer so I am just copying it from here and pasting it inside the app.css and let's replace this uh, element dot style with the dot footer and let's add this class name with that div so let me just add here class name it will be footer now let's see how it's actually look like this is look like better uh, now you may have this actual feel of footer and head right so if we can just change these menus and all everything is working fine so now let's talk about the final point which is update project structure so i want to just put footer and header component footer and navbar component inside a different component right so for a moment now you can see that we have a header uh, components folder i am just deleting it because before just making this video i am trying to just make folder and structure and all right so why i am putting this all these uh, footer and navbar file inside a folder because in upcoming time we need around uh, a 10 to 15 components so if we are just putting them in a separate folder then it will be uh, really easy to identify that these are the component that we are using right because now we have some other files which is uh, let's say report web vital and setup text and logos and all right so we can just put our components inside a components folder and uh, you can just drag and drop it after just dragging and drop you will find that it will automatically change in the path for now you can see that nav and footer are directly imported from uh, the folder so whenever i am just dragging them let me just move it and again let me just move the nav bar also now you will find that uh, path of nav bar and footer is also uh, imported uh, changed right so this is a really good feature of you can say that uh, visual studio code might be some other um, code editor they don't have this feature but in um, visual studio code we have this and this is a really cool feature so still this is working fine so that's all for this video in uh, upcoming videos we will make uh, uh, login functionalities and listing functionalities and all and obviously we will make apis first and then we will make uh, ui first ui then right so thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and if you have uh, some reviews then please provide the reviews in comment section